Captain America. This one's for you. Here we go, buddy. Here are the top 10 unsettling things recently found frozen in ice. Part two. Kicking off the list at number 10, Arctic hyenas. Only a few years ago, scientists discovered teeth. Yeah, how fun is that? Ancient teeth from Arctic hyenas. Lovely. Now, when you think of hyenas, you would never imagine that they once roamed over Europe and Asia five million years ago, right? That's not what we think about when we imagine them scary and drooling in our brains. Remains from these Arctic beasts have been found all over the world, not just the Yukon permafrost. Evolutionary biologist Jack Sung studies prehistoric carnivores, and he knew within minutes that these recent Yukon molars belong to Arctic hyenas, aka Chasmoporthetes. Number nine, frozen treasure. As far as frozen treasure goes, this is a very recent discovery. We don't find these often or ever as a matter of fact. Yeah, treasure frozen in ice. This sounds like something from Ocarina of Time. I'm so excited. Back in 2013, an anonymous mountain climber, can't imagine why they chose to stay hidden, they stumbled across a box filled with jewels jammed in the ice. Yeah, hear what I just said, a box of jewels in ice. They had to like breathe on it a bit, <sighs> melt it up, and then finally pull it out. But alas, once they reported it to the French officers, this box contained around 100 precious gems. Precious gems. This was quite the find. Emeralds, sapphires, rupees, you name it. The box was worth 300,000 US dollars, roughly. I find a 20 on the ground, I'm calling in sick. Game over. Where did this treasure come from? Well, since it was discovered on Mont Blanc, officials were able to trace the lost gems back to an Air India flight that crashed on the mountain back in 1966. The lives of 117 passengers were sadly lost and because of the conditions, it's been next to impossible to recover anything from the mountain, especially that long ago, right? Somehow these family gems were able to see the light again. And yes, before you even ask, the owner did return the gems. Only the thing is, two families claim the goods, so. Someone's not telling their truth, my friend. Someone's lying, that, that means lying, right? I never knew what that meant. I don't know, I saw someone do it and I was like, I like that sound. Interestingly enough, in 2014, a French treasure hunter named Daniel Roche found 50 more pieces of jewelry from the same glacier. So yeah, the world's melting, but we're also finding gold, so. Eh. Number eight, Western camel bones. Scientific name being Camelops hesternus. <laughs> it's a Harry Potter spell, turns into a camel. Camelops hesternus. Meaning, yesterday's camel in Latin, these bones first appeared in 2008 when gold miners were working in Hunter Creek, just 60 miles away from the Alaskan border, when they suddenly stumbled across these massive bones. The last time these bones were operating, I guess attached to some meat, was 75 to 125,000 years ago. The remains were in such great condition because of the awful surrounding conditions, right? It was so cold that scientists could still extract DNA. And that DNA told us that 10 million years ago, roughly, Western camels split from modern day camels. They were like, hey, it's not working out. You got the two hump thing, I got the one hump. It's cold, you're hot, I don't know. I never called the imaginary camel hot, but here we are. That thumbs up for hot camels. Number seven, blood red waterfalls. I'm sure you've seen this at some point, so I have to of course mention in a part two. If I came across this in the wild, I would be quite alarmed. I would ask some questions as well. On the southern side of our planet, there's a waterfall in Antarctica that is blood red. The edge of Taylor Glacier houses this one of a kind waterfall. It pours right into Lake Bonnie. Now, millions of years ago when sea levels rose up, glaciers formed at the top of said lake. So this melting water that's slowly leaking out from, you know, a quarter a mile deep, this water is three times saltier and apparently three times scarier. When the iron rich water reaches the air, it looks bloody, therefore scary. I'll put my hands back down now, let's move on. Number six, giant beaver skull. So the Yukon permafrost, it's a hot spot. Ironically, it seems, for fossils. Lots of ancient animals stuck in time and in great condition, luckily for us. Scientific name for this one is Castroides ohianus. Sure. That sounded like the closest it'll ever be. This giant beaver was on average larger than us humans. They were massive. As Jurassic Park as this thing looks, it only ate pond weeds, which is pretty hilarious. You would think otherwise looking at it, right? One of the largest rodents in history, and they were probably just really cute, and they ate little plants. 50,000 years ago, they didn't chomp on trees, just weeds. Nice, we like that. Go eat all the weeds. I hate when they touch my feet when I'm swimming in lakes. Like others on this list, they eventually moved north. They followed the ideal conditions to survive in, and that led them ultimately to their icy grave that is now the Yukon permafrost, where we go, Wow, 
more teeth. Number five, Antarctica Pyramid. Over on our history channel, Bumblebee, I talk about the pyramids of Egypt a lot. Maybe a little too much. Once I heard about pyramids in Antarctica, I had to know what was going on. Back in 2016, a mountain in Antarctica was trending online. And we all immediately thought that it was evidence of an ancient civilization because that's what we want to see, right? That's what we're all waiting for. We're like, James Webb, please show us something scary. Eric Rignot, a professor of Earth System Sciences at the University of California, reached out to Live Science when this was all unfolding, adding that, quote, pyramid shapes are not impossible. Many peaks partially look like pyramids, but they only have one or two faces like that. Rarely four. Yeah, that's all it is, just a natural pyramid. Or maybe it's aliens, who knows? I'm leaning towards the latter of the two. Number four, 90 million year old rainforest. Back in 2020, while we were all catching up on Ozark, disappointing finale, fossil traces in West Antarctica were found. Now this time it wasn't a giant beaver or a bloody waterfall from back in time, I don't know. This time it was kinda nice. This time it was an ancient rainforest. 90 million years ago when dinosaurs were once walking around, Antarctica was once a paradise. Right? What a sight to see. Researchers compare Antarctica in the Cretaceous period to New Zealand today, right? It was hot, it was gorgeous, with most days on an average of 12 degrees Celsius, like Seattle, right? Some hot days and then some Seattle days. I love how scientists compare eras with modern day city temperatures. Oh, the ice age? Oh, a lot of Regina energy there. Yeah, a lot of Western Canada, very cold, not ideal for dinosaurs. But apparently it was a paradise, so we missed out. So cold. Number three, meteorite. For this one, we're gonna switch it up, right? Taylor McWaters, I like to jazz it up every now and then. This time, scientists found ice in a meteorite, not rock in ice. A yeah, little flip flip. That's always a good time. James Webb is about to show us how much water is in space and personally, I'm not ready for it. Back in 1990, the actor 094 meteorite was discovered in the Algerian mountains. The rock was dated back to 4.6 billion years ago. So scientists studied the meteorite with synchrotron radiation based x-ray nanotomography. That sentence was choppy because I couldn't say it all in one go, obviously. This led scientists to find evidence of tiny pores. Pores believed to have been fossilized ice crystals. Now these pores may have come from when the meteorite crossed this snow line out in space. The snow line is a sphere around the sun and it's the exact point where ice on meteorites melts, right? That's the snow line, the more you know. This study was to hopefully find out where water comes from in the galaxy, and it seems that it came from a lot further than we all thought. I got goosebumps saying that, I didn't like that. James Webb stuff today, I'm like, oh, we're so small. Number two, Grasshopper Glacier. Yeah, if you're not a fan of bugs, you can go ahead and skip to number one. I won't take it personally. I'll save some bits for that one too. A glacier in Montana is home to many grasshoppers and locusts. Yeah, locusts, It's a fun word. Imagine heading to a glacier and you forget bug spray. Ah, what a fool you are. Appropriately named Grasshopper Glacier, the mile-long glacier near Crook City holds the remains of extinct grasshoppers. Yeah, they're not alive, don't worry. They're just frozen and then stuck looking at you like this. That's better. These poor guys were traveling to find new life and they must have got caught up in a blizzard long time ago. Now they're stuck here for another few hundred years. This reminds me of those suckers that have a gross bug in the center, you know? It's like a bug. Why do people buy those? I would never buy them, that's so gross. Number one, fish eat fish. If you know anything about me is that I'm not a fan of lakes. Not at all, no. Oceans, sure, if I can see my feet, we're grooving, okay, we're laughing. If I'm looking down at goggles and I can't see shit, I'm out of the lake. I don't even strap them on my head, I just put my eyes in them and rest them on the water. This video went viral not too long ago and it, it's very real. These two brothers were fishing on Indiana's Wawasee Lake and they saw a pike eating a bass, only both parties were completely still. Both parties were already dead. Both were completely frozen. How epic. What happened? How did this, how are they stuck like this? They posted the photo originally and nobody believed that it was real. So they had to follow up and post a video where they actually removed this scene of events from the ice. Yeah, I would think this is fake too. This looks like a life lesson somewhere that has to be told. It's a fish eating a fish frozen, you know? There's bigger fish out there. There's smaller fish out there. Sometimes fish freeze. I don't know, I'll do like nine more. I don't know what the message is. Those are the top 10 unsettling things recently found in ice, part two. If you want a part three, just hit that thumbs up below and then I'll do it, that's great. I'm Taylor McWaters, I'm grossed out already, bye. The hyenas, AKA chasmoporthetes. Chasmoporthetes, AKA chasmoporthetes. Chasma, no, chasma. As far as frozen, <laughs> ah, frozen. I guess frozen, frozen fusion. Yeah, treasure. Yeah, I can't say treasure. Treasure Frozen? Oh, I was like, why did I write it twice? I'm like, oh yeah, Jams. Love that movie. You ever seen Precious Jams or Uncut Jams? I like both. That was a weird walk off. Yeah, the edge of Taylor Glacier. 
great name. Yeah, when the iron rich water, I don't know why my hands are up here. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave them here for the rest of the point, I guess. Just a big beaver. Woody dude. All right. Scientific name for this one is Castroids oh, Ohioennis. Oh, Ohioennis. Ohio. <laughs> Nanomorography. Nano, nano, nanotomography. You know what I'm talking about, right? They have them at like Niagara Falls. It's like a, it's like a spider and like an orange popsicle or some sh It's gross. I don't know. Maybe I just ate bugs as a kid. Maybe I'm just like, no, you guys don't eat bugs and suckers. All right, number one. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going off the rails. This is great. 11.22, how? I thought it was at 18 minutes. 